Today is September 11, 2020, and it is the 19th anniversary of 911 attack. 19 years ago today, a group of men from Saudi Arabia, Egypt, Lebanon, and the United Arab Emirates hijacked four passenger jets and they successfully flew three of them into the World Trade Center and the Pentagon. And in one single day, they murdered more than 3,000 people. And as a New Yorker, every day in ways large or small, the 911 hangs in the air. So it's hard for anyone and to forgot about this uh, event. And today, this is not disaster and happened in around the world, but also happened in New York City, the Quad 19 pandemic. Of course, the Quad 19 pandemic is not 911 attack. We see the difference, but as the event happened in the New in New York, I think is um, it's time for us to just see the difference between the two events, and that may be learn something from them. And here, just give give a comparison uh, between the nine one one and quad nineteen. And for the 911, the death is 2,977. And I can say that, that the 911 is also an international event because that a lot of nationals with, with cases and the, pace, the people died of 911 from all over the world. And of course, Quad 19 is an international event, and it's uh, close to 1 million people died. So in, term, in terms of death, and Quad 19 has more than 100, 100 or even more uh, deaths what can, can happen. That things will happen and more as Quad 19 case contain, con, is continuing to involve Around the world, and for the enemy, that the nine one one is very clear, and this is a uh, people organized by Al Qaeda, and uh, so uh, that's actually provide provide us a very effective ways to deal with the enemy. However, however, the Quad nineteen. And it's kind of hind, and we cannot see it, we cannot smell it, we cannot test it, and we cannot hear it, we cannot touch it. But somehow, in our sixth sense, we feel there somewhere the long does. That's provide huge, huge challenge was plus that some people in the world and even some of the top leaders in the world and label this virus as a Wuhan virus or China virus and cause a lot of confusion. And we know the virus and uh, come from nature and the virus continue to evolve along us. And we need we need to have really scientific ways to deal with the, deal with the virus instead of cause some confusion. Label virus with a China virus does not help us to fight this war against this virus. And in terms of border, we know that all these enemies from 911 have a clear orange. We know where they are. We know where they come from, so that's provide us advantage to reach the war against this enemy. 
However, the COVID-19 the snowboard is already everywhere along the world. And we sense that it's around with us. And the country affected by this virus, uh, by the 911, is very few countries. We know this Middle East and it's organized by Qaeda. But however, COVID-19 has an impact of more than 213 countries and the territories. So almost every corner of the world and this virus has impact. And that's really, really huge challenge. And after 911, I see very, very strongly that the New Yorker, the United States, and even the entire world is united to fight against the terrorism and terrorist. And so, however, in COVID-19, and we are in a kind of state of individual country, like the United States, China, Germany, they all uh, take their own procedures to deal with the virus. Instead, work together, they, all of the concerns in their own benefit, their own strategy, is that united to work together to get a very strong team to against this virus. And uh, this is a really set scene for, to, for the entire human race. And instead, we need to work together to come out strong ways control the virus and we have loosely connected we have no actually strong international organization to fight together against this virus we don't know what will come out from this war against this virus and in terms of wars against 911 and we have very clear enemy and we fight against this enemy. So, and the impact of 911 is huge. And first of all, we reach a war against this terrorist. We have Afghanistan war, and we try to destroy this uh, organization. And we we are actually kill this leader of this organization and. Osama bin Laden, and that's because we know the target. We know we all united to fight against this uh, terrorist terrorist organization. So that's why we can win. And in terms of the United States, the immigration policy is tied up, and we have serious deportation, and any terrorist. Uh, organization, anyone we suspect to be terrorist will be deported and be charged. And another important thing happens is the flight security. And nowadays we board any airplane, we have very, very, very detailed security check and people get, uh, get used to such uh, security inspection and uh, but everyone was uh, agree seems and because we need such security to make it sure we are safe when we board our plane and also in US United States government have big surveillance and so they would try to identify any potential organizations and which have uh, impact or may have impact on the United States. So we can take measures to against such kind of uh, activity. Uh, in terms of COVID, and this is a huge impact and that we impact on every aspect of our daily life. 
and the final impact we may not see at least in the short term to have all industries impact and travel, travel industry almost uh, stalled and the restaurant is closed and health care industry sort of have huge impact uh, to deal something like this. However, we still don't know what is final impact of this COVID-19 to the entire world. We know that some are going to have huge change in social and economic activity of the world. And I wish that we can come out this uh, tragedy become more stronger and healthy and healthy of the entire world. But we just hope we don't know re in fact what kind of impact of this COVID-19 in the nation and on the world. And that's the update for today. We just as kind of memorial of 911 and one day we're going to have and remember this quad 19 all the time. And I wish you, every one of you, are safe and have a happy, happy life. That's the video for today. I wish to see you in my next video.